Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa Allah, Koholo, Yumla, Yehovah, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability, Jah, Waf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. This article is in the Independent, and um, if you can remember back a uh, couple of months back or whatever, this six-year-old that shot the teacher, and this is the mom. It says, mother of six-year-old who shot teacher fails drug test while on bond awaiting sentencing. So, you know, there's this saying that you could tell a nation by their women, you know, and she's probably single or could have been some damn baby daddy or some stepdaddy in the house. That left his gun out for the six-year-old to put in his backpack to take to school, which is just reckless as hell, with no accountability. So, but, you know, you think that, and I get it, man, you know, with, with drugs, drugs, you know, pretty, can, can do a number on you, man. Them, them shits is, um, you know, can most definitely hinder, because there's people that's, that's into this truth that's still smoking. Still into um, marijuana and stuff like that, you know, acting as if they can't get away from it. But see, when you come into this truth, you have the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai backing you. And the scriptures talks about um, how you can do all things. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that before I go off into this. Um, let me see. Because once you come into this truth, You know, you should be able to, um, you know, fight this thing, man. You know, if you got a fast, prayer, but you should be able to, you know, you you should be able to overcome it if you're really trying. You know what I'm saying? Because we all have to overcome, you know, um, you know, I know with me, it was, you know, the Newports and, and, and the weed. You know, I had it real bad with that. <laughs> you know, and those are some of the things that I had to, you know, um, put away, you know, and by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the Lord placed me in a situation with a job where I had to get rid of the marijuana, you know, to get the job. And I'm, you know, and, and that was a good thing because Jake will do certain things to get a job. And then, you know, they'll try and figure out a way to, you know, continue that shit afterwards, you know, or they'll take, you know, some type of um, cleaner or de detox or something like that. Just to just, you know, last long enough for them to pass the test and then they're right back at it. And then, you know, you just never know when they're going to give you that. <laughs> that 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 spy test that that test where you just out of the blue you know they're just randomly testing your ass you know what i'm saying so you know um you know by the spirit and power of Yahweh, about shim i was shot through that that next job that i had gotten you know i was just like you know hey all praises to Yahweh. you know I, I stopped it I, I clipped it at that point but you know the apostles they was on the pages you know that was back when i first came into the truth years back and, 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 you know, one of the elders from um, South Carolina, he would always be on, on, on there on our heads about you know, stop smoking them black and mild, stop smoking them cigarettes, stop smoking that marijuana. You know, he still do it. But back then he was going real hard about it. And I can remember just feeling guilty in the, in the spirit, you know, and, um, you know, just having to get rid of it by the spirit and power of you. How about you? I was shy. But um, yeah, uh, Philippians 4. 13 i can do all things through yahweh shah mashiach which strengthens me you know so strengtheneth me so you 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 know hey bring these scriptures to life man you know you got to bring these scriptures to the forefront you know the power of, of death and life are in the tongue you have the ability to to speak the, these scriptures and and remind you how about shimmy was shy of what he said yahweh about shimmy was shy hey you said that i you know i have this you know um i can do all things through yahweh shy who strengtheneth me and help me with this this situation. You know what I'm saying? But see, a person that's not into this truth, they don't have that option. So I get it with somebody that's, you know, you think that you can say, well, damn, stupid. You know, you need to, you should, you know. But, hey, man, them damn demons are strong. You see what I'm saying? But let's let's get off into a little bit of this. These, these demons are strong, man. And that's the reason why when you come into this truth, don't go back to doing that shit. You get up off that weed, you get up off them cigarettes, you get up off of whatever your cocaine, whatever you was doing, you leave that shit alone. Don't let nobody slip you 
and be like, oh, you know, because you know that um, Satan will send your friends, them old ass friends to you. Oh, come on out with us and ride with us for a minute. Next thing you know, man, you got them seven other demons on your ass, man. And, and, and being in a worse state than you was before you actually came into this truth. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You feeling that urge? <laughs> you are you know that you 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 know you can slip up like that. Hey, tell them niggas to keep riding. No, I'm straight. I'm good. Okay, but it says a Virginia mother whose son shot his first grade teacher. I mean, just think about that in itself, though. You you know the household just got to be probably shit everywhere. The fucking house ain't ever been cleaned. Dishes all over the fucking crib. I, I, that's the way that I see it. When I think of some a kid, he's able to get a gun. You know, she was probably about high as hell. He probably done made his own little bowl of cereal and walked himself to school. Who fucking knows? You know, yeah, I, I, cause, cause, cause Jake be living foul, man, in the hood. Jake be living foul. I knew this one, this one chick, man. I was like, God damn, how you living like this? You know, on the outside, you you be like, you know, like damn, she fine as shit. Man, that house, man, I, I like, oh my, that was the, the filthiest fucking place I had ever been into, man. It, it, it was like, you know, ah, it was just, ah, never mind. Okay, it says, Virginia mother whose son shot his first grade teacher allegedly failed multiple drug tests while awaiting sentencing, prompting prosecutors to ask the judge to revoke her bond. So here your badass kid that you didn't have control over got your ass in some trouble. Because see, at six years old, six years old, come on, bro. Six years old, kids are not stupid. Not these days. Kids are not fucking stupid at six years old. Six-year-olds know a whole lot, man. <laughs> six year unless he's just just um you know on that on on a side of autism autism um um retardation or something like that six year olds are are can can understand shit man if he understood to pick up that damn gun and put it in his fucking backpack you know he know more than than he's leading on or whatever <laughs> anyway matter of fact I, I, we got to get a couple of scriptures on um that damn rod man that rod man spare not that rod man Cause see, this is what the problem is. Esau eat him. Esau eat him. Then you know what? I'm probably wrong. Esau eat him. Then told you you can't you can't deal with these children like that no more. Proverbs twenty three and thirteen. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. And his ass ain't gonna die. He might be crying and screaming. But see, like I said again, the so-called white man, he has created this problem. If I was her, I sue the goddamn state. I sue the um the, the, the U.S. I take that shit all the way to federal court. Well, had you not told me I couldn't beat my kid's ass, he wouldn't have done what he done. Now I'm going through suffering. I need you know punitive damages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, created these monsters that you see out here right now. This is the results of the so-called white man. You see? They done set it up where everybody is just bugged all out their goddamn mind, man. This, this is the results of living in Esau Edom's kingdom, man. Matter of fact, let's go off into this because there's some precepts to this. There's a few of these bad babies that go to this, man. Verse 14, it says, Thou shalt beat him with the rod and, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. See? You're the, and that's not hell underground, no, no, no fiery spot. You know what I'm saying? That, that's delivering his ass from... um. Pretty much overall as he's growing up torment and 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 um all types of discomfort. Because what's gonna happen is if he grows up and, and becomes a, 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 a you know, even shit, he ain't even a teenager. By the time he hit teenage years, he gonna go through all kinds of hell them so-called white people get after his ass. And he could get shot down in the damn street. These so-called white people don't have no no um restrictions on who they'll shoot. If his ass is out here wilding the hell out, if he'll shoot a teacher at six years old, come on, you're supposed to be on that nigga's ass. Okay? Matter of fact, though, let's go off into this real quick. Proverbs 13 and 24 says, He that spareth his rod hateth his son. But he that loveth him chastise, chastiseth him betimes. Which means you chastise, you, you get on his ass immediately. Because if you don't, it says, if you spare the rod, you hate your child. So she she actually hates her. See, Esau, he teaches you to hate your children. 
All in, in the meanwhile, you know, having you feel as if you love them by giving them every goddamn thing. That spoiling shit. You can have whatever you want. Motherfucker in the, in the supermarket kicking and screaming. You can't control his ass. Yeah, I seen a kid in, his, in, in Walmart the other day like that. Kicking and screaming. You know, with that timeout Timmy shit. You know, they, they even had publishing with their scientists. Uh, you corporal punishment towards children is effective towards them. And, and it causes this, this. No, it don't. It causes they ask to correct themselves. Get your shit together. Proverbs 19 and 18. It says, chasten, the son, chasten, chasten thy son, which means whoop his ass, while there is hope. It ain't necessarily whooping either. You know what I'm saying? So let me correct that. Because you can explain to a child. If they have that particular type of understanding. But if they don't understand with words, you got to go ahead and put that belt on their ass, man. It says, I'm chastening thy son where there, while there is hope. And let not thy soul spare for his crying. See, there's hope while he's young. You see, that's why that scripture talks about train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is older, he will not forget it. Roughly paraphrasing something like that. I could grab it in a sec here. Let's get these other two um, precepts to this. Proverbs 29 and 15, the rod and reproof give wisdom, see, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. What do you think this lady is going through? She probably going through so goddamn much, she probably need to sniff a line of coke, blow a blunt, take a pill or two with it while she has a fifth in her, in her damn lap, you know, because shit already stressful enough. Life is, hey, look, man, Esau's world is, 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 is a fucked up place, man. I'm just being straight, man. So it's lucky for the language, but just putting it straight, just being a straight shooter about it. This man's whole shit is messed up, man. Verse 17, it says, correct thy son and he shall give thee rest. Yes. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. You think she's getting rest? You think she's rested since since this whole ordeal has been going on? Come on, bro. You already know she hasn't been that. that come on, bro. What is that? Uh, Proverbs. Um, Proverbs twenty-one. No, 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 no. What is it? Twenty-two. Yeah, Proverbs twenty-two and six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, if you're training him to be a, a respectful citizen, he's not going to leave that when he gets older. You know, though we all sin, we all get into some shit. We might do something. But overall, if you if you're disciplining that child a proper way and, and, and dispensing um, the proper balance of love, yeah, that, that child should be all right when they grow up. But if you don't, you leave them to your to, to their own demise. They just in the room, just playing video games, eating goddamn chips, Cheetos, Fago, you know, chips, Cheetos, Fago, chips, Cheetos, Fago. Video games, chip Cheetos. Where the hell do you think he he got the idea of of, of pulling of, of, of taking a damn gun to school and actually shooting somebody? <laughs> now we know that all things are you know man's or man's steps are, are ordered by the Lord, man. We do know that man's goings are of the Lord. So everything that happened that day, <laughs> hey, it, it was it was really um you know it was set to go down, and, and it could have been just you know I mean you know judgment on her because. You have to be living reckless as hell, man, for your, you for you to not notice that your son, you know, you should be checking to see if his backpack got his fucking books in it or his notebooks, pens, pencils, making sure that he's prepared. And and, and, and you should know what's in his fucking backpack. Now these te now hey, what they're doing now is here where I live at in Michigan, it's it's schools that you can't even come to school. They can't even have a backpack. They gotta carry all them goddamn books in their arms. They can't have no backpacks. I think they was going to try like some clear backpacks. But what I mean, come on, man. And even with these, man, it's, it's, come on, man. Here you go. You living in a man's kingdom where children have to have a goddamn metal detector before they can enter into a place, man. So this is Esau Edom's kingdom, man. Well, let's see. Let's let's see what else they got. And Deja Taylor, who's then six-year-old boy shot Abby Zwarner, um, January 6th. 2023 in Newport News, Virginia. So that was the same day as the Capitol, I think. Was that the same? No, well, the year before. Anyway, pleaded pleaded guilty in June to federal charges. So she got federal charges for that shit. Possessing marijuana while having a gun and filing false information on the paperwork she submitted when purchasing a firearm. Damn. 
Okay, so you already know what's popping. She got fed hookups, man. On September 1st, prosecutors filed a motion to revoke her bond, accusing her of not following the conditions of the release. Of course, you know them. Hey, them, hey, them Edomites be on your ass, man, when you go to their court system, man. They don't give a shit about you being single. They don't care nothing about you having children. They don't care nothing about you eating. They don't care nothing about you drinking, living, or anything that needs to be done as far as life. The so-called white man, when it comes to his justice system, he do not give not one fuck. You best believe that. So why get caught up in it? Pray to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh You will never get caught up in it. Now, we do know that the scripture talks about, um, you know, some of us being martyred. You know, some of us, you know, hey, they're going to come and swoop. They're going to come and swoop some of us about this truth in these last days. So we understand that. We know all that. But, I'm, but if you going to go to jail, you want it to be for this gospel. You don't want it to be for no bullshit, man. Straight up. Okay. It says, um. It says, uh, accusing her of not following the conditions of the release, including conditions that she not violate federal, state, or local law, refrain from the unlawful use of the possession of a narcotic, of controlled substances, submit to sub, um, substance abuse treatment as directed, and submit to um, substance abuse testing as directed. The government said Miss Taylor violated two conditions, breaking federal law and using and possessing controlled substances. When she tested positive for both marijuana and cocaine during drug testing on July 19th and August 25th. So she done, she, she just like, fuck it, man. She like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So, but, but, but here you go. You, you, you can't try hard enough to even keep your child because what's going to happen? They're going to take your ass to jail and they're going to take the baby. Or that little, little man, <laughs> you know? It says, on top of these violations, the prosecutors also stated Ms. Taylor failed to attend two of her scheduled substance abuse treatment sessions in August. So you're not showing up for what you're supposed to show up for. Because if you, because you don't, because of course you didn't sign paperwork with her. No contracts. These so-called white people, they expect you to um, respect those contracts, man. You, when, hey, that paperwork, because they're going to present you with paperwork. Sign here, Miss such and such. Initial here. Initial here. Now, your name is on there where you're saying, hey, yeah, I'm going to do this. I, you know, this, this is a part of my, um, my, my, my ruling or whatever, and you're going to have to go and do it. Okay, it says, on top of these violations, the prosecutors also stated that Ms. Taylor failed to attend two of her. Okay, we got that already. The prosecutor said the violations were serious in nature. See, and call into questions the defendant's danger to the community. Now, they're calling her a danger to the community. Which shit hell she bought is. If your son can grab a goddamn pistol and put it in his backpack and take it to school and shoot a damn teacher. Respect for the law and this court's order gives the United States no faith that the defendant will abide by the terms of her court supervision since her conduct is repeated and not merely one mistake. See, a lawyer for Miss Taylor, James Ellenson, told the Virginia pilot that he intended to urge the federal judge against revoking his client's bond. Shit. That ain't going to work. They're going to get down on Deja. Deja, like so many Americans, has difficult substance abuse issues, he told the outlet. We must, we would ask that, we would ask that compassion and understanding be the order of the day. They ain't going to give a shit because that's Jake. Now, I was just in the house just before I started doing this video. I'm outside right now just enjoying this little fresh air. But I was just looking at the news and they, these fuckers got Narcan, um, um, Vending machines. They've been doing that for a minute, but they, they actually got more. They just got vending machines all over the city where you can get as high as you want. Just make it to one of those vending machines and use that Narcan spray just in case your ass overdose. Now, guess who they doing that for? The so-called white man. The so-called white man, it's a mental disease. You know, he needs help. But when it comes to the so-called blacks, your ass is just a, a damn criminal, man. And they're looking at you as so. See, you're not going to get the same... Treatment is Esau Edom in his own kingdom, man. This is this man's kingdom. That this man has set up vending machines. This man, matter of fact, not just vending machines. He got hot spots where you can go, and they will help you get high, so that you don't. Or they'll give you the right amount. They'll stick the needle in your arm. You know, they'll give you the just the right amount of fentanyl. They'll give you just the right amount to get your ass high as hell, without you overdosing. And if you do overdose, we got you. We got you. 
They got the damn Narcan in the police cars now. When Jake was out here running around on that goddamn crack, they didn't have nothing but some handcuffs and a billy club to beat the shit out of your ass with. Nightstick. That hard-ass flashlight. And to pull that pistol on you, too. I remember those days, baby. But anyway, that's pretty much about it on the article. But, I mean, look at her. <laughs> through, man. We are through as a people. This is why we need salvation. This is why we need our Lord, man. But see, our women... They, they have that ability that, that ability to get abroad. Y'all, hey, you women, man, y'all, hey, you, you, y'all got to wake up, man. Because we, you know, I mean, we understand it. We get it. Being in this truth. We understand what the what Esau done. We understand that we are under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. But we're living in the last days where the Lord is opening up the, the scriptures and the mysteries of the scriptures to, to, to push through the prophets to let you know what not to do and what to do. To get straight and not get get caught up in the trap of this man. Because Esau set in all kinds of traps. And one of the main traps that he set was that you don't need a man. You don't need a man. I got you. Now the food stamps that he was giving you, that he's not giving you enough now to match the inflation of the food. It's not enough now. See, you got free housing where you can get high all goddamn day. You don't have to go. See, he set you up real nice. He set you women. He set you women up real nice, man. It, it was a complete trap. That's hey, that's that serpent with Eve, man. This man set you up where it, he made it seem as if you were um, hey, for for a certain uh, for a certain time. Oh, y'all was doing lovely, but that shit backfiring now because it, it, it has made a lot of women lazy, you know, and and and. and you know, just they just at home, just not doing a goddamn thing all day, watching their favorite TV shows. They on Facebook, you know, cooking some goddamn pork ribs. Then gave you the, the, the food stamps to just eat all kinds of abominable shit, cook it for your kids. Your goddamn kids is, 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 is morbidly obese or pizza rolls and fucking Cheetos and <laughs> <laughs> just all kinds of stuff. So he he has set it up where you you're 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 sick. The kid he, he you're 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 making the kids sick. And then he'll have you bring them to your to his doctors with his science and make their asses even more sicker. You see? He didn't set the whole thing up. He he took the man out of your house. You was like, "Oh, get out of here, nigga. I don't need you." But now it's coming a time where Hey, y'all gonna y'all gonna be hey y'all gonna be looking baby hey I see some th it's thirsty ass women out here I I, I see on a day to day basis just be looking at a nigga like they'll gobble you up like what the fuck is you you know what you looking at and that's not even the, the most attractive men I'm not the most attractive man <laughs> you know what I'm saying but I can tell when somebody is checking me out you know I was in Walmart yesterday like goddamn it was just like you know and, and it's a bunch of older thirsty women. These older women, are they, psh, huh. oh my, but it's these younger women too. They're not getting no play, man. They're not getting no play. Shit, it was a younger woman trying to holler at me and shit. <laughs> a few weeks back. I'm just listening to her just talk. After three minutes of listening to her talk, she crazy as hell. I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is crazy, you know? <laughs> like for real, for real. <laughs> I had to keep it pushing, man, and she was fine too. I'm not gonna even front. She was a nice looking lady, had a nice body and everything. But I'm like, uh, 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 hell to the no, no. You finna fuck with you? I already know you a problem. But that's that wisdom and knowledge and understanding that Yahweh Bashimi Abashai gives us when we come into this truth. And like I said again, you know, Jake make mistakes, man. We gon' we're not perfect. I'm not saying that at all. But you know. The Lord has placed within us to get up every day and call on him, call on his name, to repent in his name on a day to day basis. Yahweh Bashimi, I wish I hold me down, help me, keep me safe. We, we, he, he at least gave us um, sense enough to pray. You see, because them prayers come in handy, man. Prayer goes a long, 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 long ways, man. That is one of the most important tools that we have in this truth. First off, you have to know the true name of the father, Yahweh. I like to always bring that out of my lessons. I don't care who get tired of it. Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. 
The true name of his son is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in, in the Paleo Hebrew. Narachachadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And hey, we pray to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahawashai, for whatever it is that we need on a day to day basis. And, and matter of fact, you should be praying the Lord's Prayer. I pray the Lord's Prayer, man, before I go to sleep, and I pray it before I get, as soon as I get up. As soon as I get up, that's, for, that's flying out of my mouth. I try and do that before I do anything, for real, for real. Very first thing I do as soon as I step out of the bed and slip my feet into the damn house shoes. Hands in the, in, in the sky, man. Because we're living in, in some very serious times, man. But let me get this real quick. That Isaiah 32, man. Now, you've seen um, that the brother's been doing the video with the, um, the videos with the young lady that got hit in the head with the brick. By some guy she claimed didn't want to um, she didn't want to give her phone number to and said the guy hit her upside the head with the brick. And she was mad at the men. She was like, y'all men standing around, y'all black men standing around and just let a man hit a woman in the face with a brick. And y'all doing nothing. Y'all just let him get in the car and leave. Like, hey, man, Jake is not getting involved no more because it's, it's, it's see, this, this, that, that's why I was saying Esau then tricked y'all. The so-called white man, he didn't trick y'all. He didn't, he didn't, this man had put out, there was a spell or an enchantment on the children of Israel, man, to not look out for each other like that. And not, not to mention, like I said, we're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. But this man has sorely destroyed us. That's why we, you know, we go into Micah 2 and 10. It talks about coming out of this place. This is not your rest. It will sorely destroy you. And that's what's done happened to us as, as a nation of people. We're sorely destroyed. See, the so-called white man, he has really used the woman, our women, against us as a weapon. And now it's just like, you know, dealing with the so-called black, especially the so-called black woman. It's, it's just really just all work, no reward. It, it really is, man. I see him on a day-to-day -day basis. My cousins, I got girl I'm talking about, oh my, oh my, oh my. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to even go off into it, you know, but because I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, you know, straight to my face. And I'm sure other brothers, too. You know what I'm saying? And then it's not to mention, you know, co-workers. You just be listening. I'll be listening to them like you're like, and, and, and I don't even, it's just like, you know, you just kind of, uh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, for real? Uh-huh. You know, when you got those conversations where you're just like, oh, oh okay. That's all you got to say. They just running off at the mouth, telling every goddamn thing, telling a whole mind. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Dang, that's messed up. Oh, for real. OK. And you don't have nothing. Hey, ain't no use in um, throwing your this wisdom to um to swine, man. Roughly paraphrasing. We're throwing your your this wisdom to the dogs, man, because they're not going to get it. <laughs> they're not going to get it more, more than likely, man. Now, I'm not. Now, now if the spirit moved you to, to, to speak to them, then you ain't going to have no choice but to anyway. Because that because them scriptures gonna come out of you when it when it's time to if the, if the Lord is dealing with you. But this is Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So this is a warning going. The Lord is like, you know, reaching out. And what's that? Uh, the scripture talks about they um they pull the shoulder. You know how you're trying to get up with somebody, like, come on, man, let me holler at you. And they just pull the shoulder real strong, like, man, get off me. <laughs> That's pretty much about what our people are doing, man. So the Lord, he's he's extending a hand to, um, you know, basically an invitation to say, hey, look, let's square this thing away. Let's set, you know, because the Lord is long, long suffering. He don't have to deal with you, but he's but he's doing it. The Lord don't need you. <laughs> you know, and that's a problem with a lot of our people. They just like, oh, I gave my life to the love. The Lord, the Lord need my talent. No, the Lord don't need you. It's, it's millions of you with a better talent than you have. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Because our women are very, very careless, man. You know how careless this lady had to be for her child to get up and leave and leave the house with a fucking gun in the backpack and shoot a damn teacher? We ain't going to even talk about the situation as far as you know, like, just, you know, the late nights, the music blaring, all kinds of goddamn beer bottles, wine bottles, Hennessy bottles all over the damn table, drugs all over the damn 
uh, blunt tails and shit all on, you know. Come on, bro. We, 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 we. <laughs> I've been there, man. I've been around. I've been around these types, man. Before I came into the truth, I can just picture it, man. For a kid six years old, bro. When I heard that shit, I'm like, you know, when I first heard this story, I thought it was Esau. I'm not gonna even front. I ain't gonna even front. I ain't gonna front. I thought it was a so-called white kid, and, and come to find out, it's Jake, man. Anyway, it says, "Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail." The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Which basically, bottom line, to just straight get to the point, repent. Humble yourself. Humble down. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai, and say, Lord, I am wrong. I am wrong on this, 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 whatever you can think of, hell. You know, whenever something comes to mind, Lord, I was wrong for that. I be thinking of stuff, man, back, stuff be popping in my mind from, from back when I was a kid. Lord, I was, oh, man, Lord, please forgive me. Please have mercy on me, Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. I had no, you know, I was just a complete dog, a complete beast. Please forgive me for that, Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. That was so wrong of me. And we all got things that we've done that, and, and, and like I said again, on a day-to-day -day basis that we get up, we still have to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Because we're not perfect. We're, we're fighting to get one of those, those per perfected bodies, man. Where the law, statutes, and commandments will be written on our hearts and our minds. Can you imagine that? I can, Man, I pray that I can make this thing, man. Where I'm just automatically keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because see, right now, in these, these earthly bodies, we're trying. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You should be trying. Now, is this what we're going to be saved by? No, 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 no. No, we're going to be saved. You know, we're, we're, we have the opportunity. We have the chance through grace and faith of what Yahweh Shai done for us on the cross. That's the main, main thing. See, because Jake was trying to do it. You know, we had animal sacrifices and everything to, uh, you know, appease the wrath of the Lord, you know, for the sins that we was committing. But this new covenant is a greater covenant, man. It's a far greater covenant. So you women, man, you know, we, hey, we I know we get on you, but we get on you because we love you, because you're important to the nation. You're important to the nation of Israel, you know. And we're all in a jacked up and messed up state. Don't get me wrong, because like I said again, you know, if they, you know, marijuana, I, I, you know, marijuana, you, you could pretty much. Hey, marijuana is kind of, you know, that's a demon, too. You know, it could, it could take some 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 things to get off of that shit. But cocaine. That's a whole nother that's a whole nother monkey on your back right there. That's a whole nother type of demon. But to afford that shit, <sighs> as much as shit costs out here, how are you even affording stuff like that? As much as stuff is, it, 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 you know, food, and gas, and rent, and every damn thing going up. But you got that. See, you think that right now, you think right now, people would be done got rid of cigarettes. Because that pack of cigarettes a day, I don't know how much them shits cost. I remember, you know, when I stopped, they was at like 10 a pack. So you figuring, you know, you, you buying a pack every day or every two days by the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's like a 200 damn $300 bill just with cigarettes. You think that, okay, I'm going to stop these goddamn cigarettes. This needs to go towards my kitchen table. No, Jake's still buying cigarettes. Not to mention, on top of that, because, I, you know, I used to put it together. I used to sit and I calculate, like, God damn, I just spent, you know, everything was going towards pretty much just fucking smoking and, and just doing bullshit. But I was, I was you know, kind of adding up the little weed and the, the cigarette bill and all that little shit, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, well, damn, I spend this much every day. I went to adding it, like, 31, you know, days a, a month, you know, so to speak. Man, I went to adding that shit up. I'm like, okay, so... You know, even if you're grabbing a Nick bag. And then we ain't going to even talk about just, you know, spending, um, you know, the two to three dollars on blunts, man. Blunts. Niggas is buying Lucy's, you know, buying packs of Newports. You know, all that shit just on a day to day basis or to go along with the weed. A quarter bag here. An ounce there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, boy, I'm looking at this shit like, man, pfft. 
I could be out here driving a brand new whip. <laughs> you know, I could be, you know, out here, you know, just doing some stuff. Here I am. I'm going to work just to pretty much do that shit because that's where all the money was going. But I mean, you know, hey, man, I'm, 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 man, you know, hey, if you went to this troop and you still smoking for sure, man, get off that shit, man. Go ahead and pray to y'all about your mouth shot for some extra help, man. And, and, and go on that fast, man. That fast helps. You go on that fast, go on a fast, man, for, for 24 hours. Or go on a dry fast. Go on a dry fast for 24 hours. You should be able to handle from there. But if not, go on another one, goddammit. You know? You ain't got to do, do them back to back. But do one. Hey, it don't work this week. Do another one next week, goddammit. And focus, man. And as you're going on that dry fast throughout the day, and you're afflicting your soul, then, hey, you should be asking the Lord, hey, look, you how about Shemel I know that this thing is wrong. It's something that you don't want. It's something that you don't like. And I don't want it to destroy me. Please help me. And, and the Lord going, hey, man, hey, the Lord going to handle that for you. He's going to give you, because you can do it through, through, through um, Yahweh Shai who strengthens you. That's what that scripture that I read. What was that? I think it was first um, Philippians. Um, let's go back to it. And I can end out there. I don't want to keep the lesson long. Uh... I think it was, yeah, was it First Philippians? Uh, I mean, Slaki, I'm saying First Philippians. I mean, uh, Philippians. Was it 4 and 13? I said First Philippians. Ain't that something? Yeah, yeah. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Yahweh Shai, which strengtheneth me. See? See, them Christians, they say shit like this. They really be believing it. In the name of sweet white baby Jesus. Nah, man, the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. And, 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 and it's real power in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's name, man. See, this truth, it, 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 it's, it, it, it's, you know, when you was in Christianity, it, it, even in Christianity, you know, Jake had faith. You know, it was just, you know, that zeal for Yahweh, just not according to knowledge. But in this truth, truth, man, hey, you best believe that everything that the Lord said in these scriptures, man, is it, it, yours, basically, man. Like, for real. Remind the Lord of what he said. Well, Lord, you said this. You know, hey, the Lord is not, his word doesn't return to him void, man. Roughly paraphrasing. If it's the will of the Lord, hey, it's going to be done, man. Straight up. Sometimes it take a little bit. Sometimes it take a little bit of time. But, man, hey, you should be thinking like I already got it immediately. And I don't mean to sound like one of them, them, them prosperity praying ass Christians. But really, in reality, you should be thinking to yourself, you know, hey, because you have to have faith. Matter of fact, the scriptures talks about that um, in James. Let's get um, James chapter 1. And this is going off into um, wisdom. Well, let me get to the point. Verse 6, it says, but let him ask. So if you're asking for something, basically, let him ask in faith. In faith. So you have to have faith. Nothing wavering. You can't be wavering at all. You got to be straight, straight shooter, man, when it comes to what you're praying for. Nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. So, you you know, all that back and forth, that back and forth. Oh, I think he'll do it. Oh, he might do it. Oh, he going to do it. Oh, I think he might do it. He, you, because it's may, it may not be showing up immediately for you. Oh, he might. Oh, I think. Oh, well. I don't, no, 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 you got to be, as soon as it hits your mind with that bullshit, man, cast that imagination down. No, the Lord going to do this, man. The scriptures is 100. The Lord cannot lie. His word will not return to him void. You got to start using scriptures. Use them scriptures, man. As soon as something negative pop in your mind, like, nope, because that's Satan, man. He's trying to get you to, 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 to basically curve what it is that you're waiting for. You, you can't give him that type of, you, you got to flee that fucker, man. Scripture says flee the devil, I mean, um, resist the devil and he'll flee. You got to resist him in every way, man. And every single, see, this is a spiritual war. This thing is going on all around us all day long. Soon as something negative coming to your mind about, and it goes against the scripture, you're supposed to be countering that with that scripture. You know, counter it with the scripture that 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 counters it. It's plenty of scriptures the Lord uh, uh, that, that that'll come you know to your your mind by the um the Rakhodash man, which is the Holy Spirit. What do you think Yahweh Shah was doing when he was in the wilderness with Satan? He was hitting that boy over the head with them scriptures. Satan coming with something, you know what I'm saying? Because you know even you know Satan was trying to use to see that's how deceptive this 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 guy is, man. He'll come at you like, and it sounds right. 
You know, he was coming at the Lord with, with, with actual scriptures. But it wasn't, you know, he was twisting it. It wasn't the right way. You see, it wasn't, you know, <laughs> so the Lord was hitting him over the head like, nah, cuz, uh, -uh no, nah, nah, nah. The Lord said this <laughs> and that's that. And, and, and that's how you rid him, man. You got to get rid of him. But anyway, it says, um, let me get that back again. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So when you're praying, man, hey, you got to believe it. You got to believe it, whether it's coming today, next week. Or, or, or you, hey, you got to, hey, it's people that's got more and more um, faith in um, Amazon Prime than the Lord, man. Motherfuckers is not going to question Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, give them an estimated time around the time they're going to come. They looking out the window and they knowing. And even if they go past the time, they like, well, you know, you know, they, they, they coming. I know they come. They'll have more. Hey, I'm telling you, man, Jake got... Jake got more more um, faith in, 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 in the postal service, man. Or one of their friends pulling up. Yeah, he going to be here. So, you know, he going to come. He coming. Not knowing that the power, that the Lord had the power to make them motherfuckers not even come. To make them get into a damn accident. Even the damn, the Amazon, <laughs> the, the Amazon man. The damn truck done turn over. You see his ass on the news with your shit in the back of the truck all sprayed out all, all over the damn street or freeway. Well, come on, man. You know, don't be wavering when it comes to this truth, man. I know that kind of, you know, you know, but that's the spirit, man. And, and we, we, we don't, it's lessons within it, within lessons from what uh, Apostle Tahar say. You know what I'm saying? Because we done went from um, the, the kid to his mom to, you know, just being faithful in his prayer, man. But we are living in the last days, man. Um, but I did, I, I just wanted to touch on that. Didn't even realize how long I was even going. Um, but hey. Repent to Yahweh about Shemia was shy. We are living in these last days. Hey, you women, you care. Hey, don't be so careless, man. You got to repent, man. And that goes for our men as well. But, you know, we do lessons on our women, you know, because, hey, like I said again, they said you can tell a, a nation by their women, you know. And, and when things really hit the fans, you got to know that you're the weaker vessel and that you're going to need men. And you're going to want to be under a man that's under the Lord, man. So, hey, y'all, hey, spot you a man out that's <laughs> that's under the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Preferably from GMS that's got this 100 percent true because, hey, when the Lord get down, he going to get down. And if you don't have a proper covering or the proper garment on, it's going to be bad, man. So with that, I pretty the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all,